The picture shows a photochromic lens under different intensities of light. The lens turns darker as the intensity of light increases. Do you know what makes the lens turn darker when exposed to light? Silver chloride salt is added during the making of the lens. Do you know how this salt is made? Silver chloride is produced when silver nitrate is added to sodium chloride. During the reaction, energy released is in the form of heat. Do you know how much heat is released during the reaction? Let's measure how much heat energy is released during the reaction. Watch the video and answer the following questions. 50 cubic centimeters of 0 0.5 mole per cubic decimeter silver nitrate solution is poured into a polystyrene cup. The initial temperature of the solution is measured with a thermometer. Record the reading in the table provided. 50 cubic centimeters of 0 0.5 mole per cubic decimeter sodium chloride solution is poured into a polystyrene cup. The initial temperature of the solution is measured with a thermometer. Record the reading. What is the average temperature of both solutions? The silver nitrate solution is poured into the polystyrene cup containing the sodium chloride solution. The mixture is stirred and the final temperature of the mixture is measured with a thermometer. Record the reading in the table provided. What is the difference in temperature during the reaction? Now, with the data we have, we can calculate the heat released from the reaction. How do we do this? Click the red button to know how to calculate the heat released. There is no instrument to measure heat energy directly. Thus, we will use the common formula to calculate the heat released in this reaction, where H is for heat, M for total mass of solutions, C for specific heat capacity of water, and theta for change in temperature during the reaction. From the data in the reaction we observed, we can then insert the values in the formula with these assumptions. The density of the mixture is the same as the density of water, that is, 1 gram per cubic centimeter. The specific heat capacity of the mixture is the same as the specific heat capacity of water, that is, 4.2 joules per gram per degree Celsius. There is no heat lost to the surroundings during the reaction. Now that we have all that we need, let's calculate. Yes, the heat released during the reaction of 50 cubic centimeters of 0 0.5 mole per cubic decimeter silver nitrate solution and 50 cubic centimeters of 0 0.5 mole per cubic decimeter sodium chloride solution is 1.47 kilojoules. What would be the amount of energy released when one mole of silver chloride precipitate forms? Let us calculate together. First, calculate the number of moles of reactants used in the reaction to find out the number of moles of silver chloride formed. Yes, 1.47 kilojoules of heat is released when 0 0.025 moles of silver chloride is formed. But how much energy would be released if one mole of silver chloride precipitate is formed? Key in the empty boxes to calculate your answer. Yes, the energy released when one mole of silver chloride formed is 
58.8 kilojoules. The energy released when one mole of precipitate formed is called the heat of precipitation. Thus, we can say that the heat of precipitation of silver chloride is negative 58.8 kilojoules per mole. The negative sign in front of the value indicates that heat is released. We can write the thermochemical equation for the precipitation of silver chloride like this. How does the energy level diagram for the precipitation of silver chloride look like? Let's draw. Key in the ionic equation for this reaction. Key in the data into the formula to calculate the heat change in this reaction. Complete the table to calculate the heat of precipitation of lead sulfate. Complete the thermochemical equation for this reaction. Key in the ionic equation for this reaction. Key in the data into the formula to calculate the heat change in this reaction. Complete the table to calculate the heat of precipitation of barium sulfate. Complete the thermochemical equation for this reaction.